Hello everyone, it's Melanie. Um, I just finished kind of straightening up my craft room here and I thought I would do a little um, a little uh, tour, a little impromptu tour while I have it kind of straightened up. So anyway, this is a room that um, was originally a second living area in the house. All of those bookshelves on that wall are built in. And that did house my regular library, but we moved all my books from here into the living room when um, when we converted this room. We put this little wall up here to kind of separate it out from the rest of the house. And um, so the, the wall behind me is just, um, it's kind of like a hallway and then a glass and windows that goes out to um, the deck. So. We'll see just a little quick I, this is the second time I've tried this I discovered that I'm not very good at this holding the camera and showing you things um, but I definitely do a better job if I actually hold the camera with my right hand and use my left hand to point things out uh, using my left hand to hold the camera is not a very good idea um, this is just a collection of some of my um, cigar boxes that I keep you know, different stuff in. This one has um, tool, little hardwares and tools and things like that. And both of these boxes have um, canceled stamps in them. Um, my favorite jam is this Bon Mama jam, and they have great jars. This is um, these are jars from the Wee yogurt, and you can actually buy lids for them on the YoPlay site. Um, so I have a lot of those. Just one of my old lunch boxes and some book spines. I love, I go to the Dollar Tree for all these, all these baskets that you see came from the Dollar Tree. Um, this just has some washi and some extra ribbon and things in it. Um, there's some journals that are basically finished. Um, more little cubbies of things. This box houses some journals and some things from when I was doing uh, Traveler's, my Traveler's Notebook. Um, pencils, colored pencils, more colored pencils. Uh, lots of scissors, more colored pencils. These are actually my Prismacolors. More colored pencils, those are my Stabilo crayons, which I love. Uh, some of my journals and uh, art books. And all the toys that you see in this room actually belong to me. I am a grown woman who loves toys. Especially, oh, hello kitty. There's my origami paper. Those are actually my vintage Prismacolors. If you're a old school art. These are actually Eagle brand Prismacolors before Barrel bought them. And then I, I have these, some of these too, these old pedigree markers. Oh, I love them. Those Empire markers, colored pencils. I love those. Um, this is some gelatos and more Hello Kitties. And I keep all these cute. My daughter even buys little things for me to put uh, on my computer monitor and stuff. So, pens and pencils, and then this is my PC. Um, I actually use two computers. Um, I use my PC because I use Corel um, design products, Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint. I'm kind of old school like that, so I have both a PC and a Mac. Um, this is my big guillotine paper cutter that you can cut like an entire ream of paper at once. This is my um, Epson printer. There's my scanner down there. There's some folios of book paper and then what's left of my coffee dyed paper. I've been making so many of those golden book journals lately that I'm out of, almost out of coffee dyed paper. This is um, some of my trims and things organized onto um, playing cards. This houses things like, there's some wallpaper, and then a lot of this is just vintage 
papers and things that kind of need to be organized. <laughs> There's a lot of that bottom drawer down here. This is um, book text and folios, things like that. Then over here I have my loose book pages are there. So see if I can do this without making you sick. Um, let's see. These shelves right here on the, the top two shelves there, those are actually books that I bought to tear up. But once I got them home, I was like, oh no, there's no way. I can't tear these up. So that's <laughs> the books that I bought, but now I can't. I can't tear them up. This is actually an old cassette tape holder. Um, I wish I hadn't thrown all of mine away, but I have vintage and well, mostly antique. A lot of that stuff is 1800s um, photos and postcards and things like that and organized in there. This shelf is my personal journals. And I have art books. All my, all my sewing books are in the other room, but this is um, where I keep all my art related, art and design books. They're all in this room. Down there I have paper, magazines. Those boxes have things like index cards and sequins. And then underneath the desk I have, or the table underneath there I have um, playing cards and game cards and stuff like that. So over here on the other side, let's see those bins on the top, which I have to have a ladder to reach them. They have greeting cards and then just like new unopened supplies, kind of backup stuff, things like that. So these shelves here are actually books that I bought to you to repurpose. And I actually have either repurposed them or I will actually plan to do so, actually plan to repurpose. This, this thing keeps the glare off my table. It's kind of in the way. Um, so this is all books to be repurposed and such, except this shelf is, that's some of my other journals and sketchbooks. And that's what this is, mostly some of my journals and sketchbooks down there at the end. And then books I use for repurposing. There's my stickers and markers. There's more markers and that little bin down there has sacks and bags and doilies and things in it. Um, down there on the bottom shelf, I have large books, really large books. And down here I have um, book covers and things like that. There's wrapping paper and more rulers kind of tucked back there. This room doesn't have a closet, which is very unfortunate for me. <laughs> I have I have two of these carts in this room. This one has my craft acrylics on the top and student grade acrylics on the second shelf and then there's things like brayers and pencil sharpeners and extra tools down there on the bottom. Um, here's a little wall shelf that I have inks and sprays and extra glue, mediums, things like that. This unit on this wall, I have this, um, and it's a, it's standing height where I keep my paper cutter, but this is an alpha unit from the container store, and I'll show you what's in it. But I just I just put this on here the other day, and I kind of like it. It's a, a wire shelving unit, just a little wire unit, and all of these baskets, well, with the exception of this and this, all of those plastic baskets came from the Dollar Tree. Um, so this one has ribbon and little scraps of ribbon. This one is um, journaling cards that I'm sewing fabric onto the top of. This one has some things that might go in my journals. Um, these, I just kind of, I use these all the time for whatever, like if I'm working on a certain project, I'll just get one of these out and use it while I'm working on something in particular. And so I just keep a few of them empty and kind of at the ready. Um, there's blank cards. There's some um, those little collage snippet kind of things and then paper that I might use for that, like skinny things I've cut off the edge. This is 
mostly scrapbook scraps, which I separated from my other scraps. I pulled all the scrapbook paper out from my other paper scraps. Um, these are just, I have to be honest, that's stuff that's unorganized. This is like collage paper that's already kind of torn up. There's some golden book encyclopedias that I am working on. Uh, so here in these drawers, I have, this is my washi tape, and it used to be very, very organized, but as I've acquired more washi, it, um, it gets less and less, less and less organized because I don't have enough room. Um, this is one of my stamping drawers, and I even have stamps in here from the, from the 90s, 80s and 90s. Um, I've got some of my stamps. This is more stamping, clear stamps and stamp pads and acrylic blocks, things like that. Um, this is one of my drawers of punches. And these, these are right behind me when I'm sitting at my desk working. This is what's directly behind me. So this is all my um, watercolor stuff. This is where I keep my good acrylic paints. This whole drawer is palettes, extra palettes, and um, looks like there's some paintings and things like that, but this is all painting, painting related kind of stuff. And then down here I keep some overflow of other papers and things like that. There's my heat gun and some envelopes and such. So up here I have cutting tools. This is like paper cutters and there's some old creative memories um, cutting things. And then I started buying these We Are Memory Keepers, like these punch boards and tag boards and things. And when I find them at Tuesday morning, so a lot of those are in, in overflowed down into my Cricut drawer. So this is my where I keep my Cricut supplies with some of this punch board overflow. And then this is my scraps of paper that are not necessarily scrapbook paper. This is scraps of wallpaper and bags and maps and things like that. Um, this is my maps. Um, I have found that I am really stingy with these maps. I have some really great old maps down under there, but I just, I hate to use them because, you know, once I use them, they're gone, and I don't know, these are some oil maps that I got at an estate sale. Um, they're oil maps of the Gulf of Mexico, showing where all the oil wells and things are. I had, I used to have a bunch of those, but I've used, I've used a lot of them up over the years. This is where I keep my envelopes. And the one below it is note cards, note cards and note paper. And as you can see, I just pulled it off the track because it's very heavy. So I can't show you what's underneath it, but that's empty bags and things like that. Um, this is my paper cutter, my beloved paper cutter. I got this for $20 at an estate sale. It's huge and I absolutely, absolutely adore it. So. One of my favorite estate sale finds ever. Um, some more punches in here. And this is honestly just stuff. So if you're watching this video, you can probably relate to this kind of a drawer of stuff. This one, a little more organized. This one is all ledger paper and graph paper, um, well, except for, sometimes I think these things fall out of the drawer above them. But I have some of these old, old ledger papers and old graph papers and stuff. Oh, I love those. And then this one houses my wrapping paper, my old wrapping paper, and my old wallpaper. So it's swatches. Um, there's also some old forms, and this is some this is some really old 
sheet music and stuff from the 1800s. Um, it's very brittle, so I need to scan it and do some things out of it because I, it's it's so brittle that I can barely I can barely use it. Here's some old um, <laughs> Target practice targets. Love those. They're kind of they're brittle too, though they're really old, so they're hard to use in my journals. Here's another drawer of just an assortment of stuff. Old papers, pressed leaves. There's some Life magazines. I think these are from the 60s and 70s. This drawer houses my painted papers that I use for collage and my um, tissue paper. And then I also have some more, looks like more paper down on the bottom. Here's a, I have a bunch of these old rub-on letters. Um, and FYI, after they get to a certain age, they no longer rub on. <laughs> There's more of the letter rub on letters and um, sticker letters, things like that. This drawer is some fabrics and binding tools, both for my um, what is that thing called? The cinch. And then this drawer down here is some of my napkins and some old postcards. These I actually have organized by, by state. So I mentioned this room doesn't have a closet. Um, so I have to keep, these are my paintings in progress and empty canvases, things like that. There's some Gorilla Tape that I couldn't stand to throw away that we didn't end up using. So I've just been hanging it there waiting for the perfect opportunity to use it. Up here, I've got my Ikea, my little Ikea drawers that are pretty well organized and I think it's all just about full. Um, has things like old, that's old Christmas and some old letters and and then up on top, which I have to get a ladder for also, um, is where I keep my uh, artificial flowers that I use for painting and drawing and stuff. So this is a big armoire cabinet that I um, have used for my crafts for a very, very long time. There's some of those um, scrapbook organizer bins on the front that kind of have things in them by category. Um, this shelf is really deep, so there's stuff in the back of it, too, but there's paper and um, typewriters, glue guns. There's my Xyron and my cinch. This is all, which I need to find a new place to keep it, but this is, this is all my scrapbook paper, and it's gotten really, really heavy. This is all my art pads. There's some smash books in there. Things like that. These drawers have, this one has um, my painting aprons and then a lot of my pencil bags and stuff. When I go places, I can take supplies with me. So there's a lot of that kind of thing. Sticker paper, that sorts of thing in there. And then this one has blank and new supplies. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, things like comp books and there's my transparency films and file folders and envelopes and spiral notebooks and ledger pads, things like that. And then on my table over here, this is where I, this is where I film my videos. Um, This is the sewing machine that I usually use for paper. Um, it's one of 13 sewing machines in this house right now. I have kind of a thing for sewing machines. Um, I own actually five of those exact same machines that I had when I was teaching sewing. My sewing at a studio where I taught kids to sew. It was a lot of fun. Um, this is my Winnie the Pooh water jar honey pot. It's, I like it because it's so huge that I feel comfortable that I'm not going to tip it over, 
But the thing is, it holds so much water that if I do ever tip it over, it's it's going to be catastrophic because that's my MacBook. So this is one of my old cutting mats that's been sacrificed, that's been doomed to this craft room. So now it's all painty and cut up. And um, so this is just the supplies I keep right at hand. There's paper clips and binder clips and glasses and here's all my all my different rulers markers and scissors some pins these are the glues that I use all the time um, this is just a little bowl of my awls and seam rippers and erasers um, bone folders things like that um, the other day I was using my Tim Holtz um, die cut things and I separated them by type, flowers, birds, tickets, tags. I just separated them onto these little paper chinette plates. Um, this is scraps of my um, painted paper that I use for collage and stuff. There's some stuff I was working on, a new, a new journal I was working on yesterday. Um, let's see, what else do I have in here? Um, I don't have any place for it, so under the table here I have, um, this is just a little bin that I have fabric scraps in, laces and trims and things like that. And this is like a little accordion file that I have. Um, magazine pages that I've torn out for my inspiration books, my glue books, and this is this is the same thing, just more of magazine pages and things to glue into my inspiration books. Down there I have all my spray adhesives and there's the big mod podges and things like that. That's all extra pins and more paintbrushes and stuff like that. This is my drafting table, but it's not set up for drafting right now. I just have it flat and I've just got um, some golden book encyclopedias I was working on. And then this is just kind of a collection of things that were on the desk and needed a home. <laughs> so I get a home in this bin of messy stuff. So Anyway, guys, um, that's my workspace. Um, I hope that maybe you found something inspiring. I didn't intend this to be so long, but if you hung with me, um, thank you. And if you like this video, despite the fact that I may have made you, um, given you motion sickness with my camera work, this is my first handheld camera video ever. So anyway, if you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up and, um, and subscribe. I'm going to make more videos. I'll, actually, I'm going to make more videos sitting right there. So um, that's all I have for you today, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.